Okay, for our final script, uh, we want to play a little bit of a joke on the end user. And this is the way the joke works. If you roll over the first image, the second image actually highlights. If you roll over the second image, the first image highlights. So the user really doesn't know what to do. Now, the links are intact, so if you click, you can go to the regular links. But it just doesn't look right. In fact, you can use uh, rollovers like this. And you can, and these are known as disjointed rollovers. You can use these to roll over an element on a web page and actually update a text or a graphic, I should say, a text represented as a graphic. Or you can take a uh, catalog picture over on the right side of the screen and change it depending on what image the user rolls over on the left. And again, these are known as disjointed rollovers. And they're very easy to program once you understand the basic code for regular rollovers. So I'm going to now show you the changes that I've made compared to the last script. It is extraordinarily easy to do this. So basically, I took the code from the last example, JS27, and I simply changed bw arrow dot source equals backward one dot gif to fw arrow dot source equals forward one dot gif. Okay? So I just swapped the source and the name of the source file that used to be the backward uh, information and made it the forward information. So when I roll over the backward button, the forward button changes. And I did the same thing down here. What was forward then became backward. So compare this with the previous script. And you can see that I only uh, changed about mm, 20 or so characters to make this particular script work. This is a lot of fun. It has a lot of very practical uses on web pages.